2022 comes with a big milestone for the Union Gospel Mission in Sioux Falls as it celebrates 122 years of working in the community. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Renee Ortiz takes a closer look at the organization and its goal to help the homeless population get back on their feet. The goal of the Union Gospel Mission is to help people with their struggles and help them get back on their own. Last year, Mark Knapp was a resident at the mission. Just uh, make, making wrong choices in life, you know. Um, I was drinking, drugging, um, get a job, lose a job, can take care of my family. I had to uh, come to a shelter and put my family in a bad situation. He and his family stayed for a few months while Knapp looked for work. With the help and support from staff, he was able to turn things around. Finally, you know, got things right, you know, start working, holding a job. Going to church, uh, giving my life to the Lord, and uh, surrendering my will to Him through the help of County, got a place and still, still have one. Now he's back at the mission, not as a resident, but as an employee. I want to get back too, you know. I feel like I, I know I can relate to people because I've been in the same situation as they have. Eric Weber is the executive director. He hired Knapp as a caseworker after seeing his dedication to changing his life. Knapp will be trained so he can provide the same help and support that he and his family received. We're going to train him to help people because he's been through the system. He knows that he had to get his, he had to get a job. He had to get all his stuff in order so he can create a better tomorrow for himself. The Union Gospel Mission Sioux Falls has been in operation for 122 years, providing food, shelter, and different services to those less fortunate in the Sioux Falls community. The mission, dubbed Noah's Ark by staff, offers a home for men and women and children under the age of 12. Staff and volunteers serve more than 150,000 meals a year. The mission receives daily donations that are sorted by volunteers and then distributed to the two centers as well as the thrift shop on the main floor of the building. In addition to church services, residents have access to services for drug addiction and mental health as well as programs like art therapy. Watching the healing that has happened with so many individuals who come to us in crisis, the trauma and drama that homelessness brings with it um, can really be worked out, worked through in the vehicle of art. We just want people to get better. And so we try to help them in all aspects of their life. And with his new job, he hopes to help even more people see the success that he has. I want to see them succeed and get them out of the situation they're in. Because I've been there, I can relate to them. So it'd be an honor to help somebody. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Renee Ortiz. For more information on the many services offered, as well as donation and volunteer opportunities, head to the story on Kelloland.com.